Hi everyone, I'm Craig Lambert with the Autoimmune Hepatitis Association. A question I get all the time in clinic is, what is my family's risk for autoimmune hepatitis? And I have a concern that my kids will get this disease. This has actually been a pretty hard question to answer is we haven't had a lot of great evidence to answer it. We always state that it's probably very low risk, but with any genetic disease, and we think AIH has some genetic components to it, you have to worry about this. Most recently though, I wanna share with you a paper that was published this this past year from a very large population of autoimmune hepatitis patients that were in Denmark. In this study, the authors looked at over 2,500 AIH patients that had identifiable relatives, including first degree relatives of over 8,500. This includes brothers, sisters, parents, and kids, as well as second degree relatives, which includes cousins, aunts, and uncles. Also in this paper, the authors were able to look at twin studies, which included monozygotic twins, which means these are twins that are fertilized with one sperm and one egg and divide at that point in time, and then dizygotic twins, which includes two embryos and two sperm at the same time. The very interesting piece of this is, out of first degree relatives over 10 years, we only saw six cases of AIH developed in patients, first degree relatives, in second degree relatives, there were no AIH cases. In twin studies, even though patients were monozygotic twins, only one other twin had AIH out of 22. In the dizygotic twins of 20, there was no incident case. So what does this tell us? It tells us that the cumulative risk for patients and their, their relatives is actually quite low for autoimmune hepatitis. And this is really important. Therefore, we don't have to spend a lot of time screening and looking. I still advocate, though, in terms of patients with chronic disease, if your kids or relatives feel unwell, they should be seen by a doctor, and they may want to report your history of autoimmune hepatitis to them.